Hey everyone, Yenig up here, and in today's video, I'm going to review to you guys my exact product page layout that I used to generate $10 million last year dropshipping. So right now, I'm recording with my new camera, and if you guys wanna see the behind the scenes of the setup I'm using, my camera and everything, just because I know some of you guys are interested in personal branding, let me know and I'll create a whole video on that and what my whole workflow looks like. So now, let's just get into my computer and I'll show you guys everything. So the app I love to use to build my product pages is called Gem Pages, and you guys can find it on the App Store and there is a 10 day free trial so you guys can experiment with it and why I love using gem pages is because it allows you to have full control over the whole design of the product page so we're able to add in these little factors and aspects that really help you increase your conversion rate a regular Shopify theme and product page can work completely fine every page almost every page looks the same on mobile but with gem pages we're able to add in these little factors right that really help boost your conversion rate if you're able to do that on a regular the Shopify theme, then all the better, right? It doesn't really matter. Gem Pages just makes it really easy because most people don't know how to code. Even if you do make it look pretty, it doesn't always mean that it's going to convert better. People are going to your site to experience the benefit. They want to see the benefit of, of your product. Um, anyways, let's just get into how to build a product page and then I'm going to break it down for you guys. Um, let's get into the computer then. So when you install gem pages, you're going to go over to this left menu and you're going to press product pages. From there, it's just create new template, create new page, and then you're gonna name your page, right? And make sure you guys have your header and footer on for the purpose of this video. Um, I'm just gonna have it off and I'm just gonna name it one, two, three. So yours should look pretty much the same. Uh, what I like to do right off the bat is change the font size, uh, make it pop a little. So I love to just change it to like 40, just some big text. Uh, make the price stand out too. I'm just gonna put this at 20. And then <clears throat> whatever head, whatever font size you use for the title, your all your other headlines are gonna be pretty much the same. For this product, we have no swatches or variants, so we're gonna just delete it. And then for this, I'm just gonna delete the quantity just because up here, you're just going to buy one specifically for this product. And then I'm gonna have the upsell pop up. Um, but for the add a cart button, we always want to stretch the button so it stands out. Um, and then I'm gonna separate it by 30 pixels at the top here just so it doesn't get cluttered. So now we wanna make sure, so now we wanna make sure the mobile view looks nice. So we're gonna go over to mobile and it doesn't look nice, right? So how do we fix this? We're gonna press on row here and we're gonna go down to mobile layout and single row it. So that's what it's gonna look like. And now if your images are like this, I'm gonna click on image list and we're going to change it into a slider. So there you guys go and then you guys can play with the columns here. Um, I'm just going to leave it at four. Make sure you guys have next and previous buttons activated. Make sure you guys have loop off. Just match your settings accordingly. If there's a big space here too, just drag it up, drag the spacing up. Um, so everything fits above the fold. We also wanna space out the title. So click on title. We're going to space the top by 30 pixels or 15, whatever you guys like. And then we're gonna change the line height to 1.1. I just find that to be the cleanest. And again, cart button or any call to, or any call to action button should be stretched just like that. Something that I love to do in replace of trust badges, which can sometimes look scammy, is I love to use an icon list. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're gonna insert an icon list here. We're going to remove all the other items. We're gonna align it to the left. Sorry if I'm going a little quick, but just follow along here. Then we're going to decrease the padding here and I just like to space by 15 pixels just because it looks really clean. And then I like to space everything by 15 pixels just because it looks really clean. So here now, now click on the icon right here and we're going to find a lock icon. So just follow along just like that. Then we're going to decrease the icon width. Then we're going to change this to secure transactions. Then you guys can check the mobile view to make sure it looks fine. And I'm just going to decrease the color of this so it looks a little more faded and it doesn't match the headline. And then what I like to do is make the shipping and guarantees easily accessible so then people aren't clicking around your website. They aren't having to put in too much effort to find out what their shipping times are. So for that, I like to add an accordion right under the add a cart button. We also wanted to design this in a way where people know it's a button and it stands out from the other elements. So go over to design and add a border. 
But before we do that, I just need to copy the border color here. Now we're gonna go to border, we're gonna add this, and we're gonna change the border color so it matches. Then I'm gonna put border width as one. Um, the bottom is kind of thick, so we're gonna decrease it by going to more settings right here. And we're gonna do zero. And that's what it's gonna look like. Then make sure you guys space everything out so it looks clean. Check mobile, looks super clean guys. I'm really happy with this. And then to add text in, we're just going to drag a text block in it. So now we wanna add in some value propositions above the fold because 100% of the people will see it and just really amplify and justify why they're here on the product page in the first place. Um, obviously something stood out to them in the creative, so now they're here on the product page and now we're just amplifying whatever they're here for. Add in icon list right here and go desktop view. Align it all the way to the left, and I like to adjust the spacing a bit and space it out by 30 pixels, like always. So, here you guys can do like your guarantees, your shipping, um, what, whatever offer you think will resonate the most with your customers. A very easy tip is just match the messaging in the creative. It's just really up to what you think will resonate the most, and it's down to testing. I already have the shipping here, so I don't really have to mention it. Instead of doing shipping and delivery, you can do fast shipping. So your main three value propositions will go here. You can have up to five points. Make sure it's an odd number. Text here is, and then our secure transition text is not the right color, so I'm just gonna fix that. Now let's get into the body of our product page. So for our body, we're going to insert a row and make sure it's not within the purple line, it's outside it. So you guys can easily just hover over the row and just make sure it's not inside the, the purple. But for the body, it's really up to you guys and however you guys want to design it. Make sure it's clean. Again, everything usually looks the same on mobile view anyways. I'm just going to go over the important parts of the body. So in general, your body is going to include a summary of your product and how it works. <clears throat> so in this row, you're gonna have some social proof of view, a lifestyle image, um, something that resonates with the audience, outline your offer again, or a comparison chart if your product is like some saturated product that has a lot of competitors. And then if your image is like this foot width, you're just going to go over here and just going to, and then you're just going to adjust the width, um, 500 pixels, whatever you want to do. Again, it all looks the same on mobile and that's where 90% of your traffic is going to come from. Make sure you space it out properly. Um, dupe it again, and then we want to have our benefits. So let's just make it easy by going up here, to the icon list, and drag it all the way down to the benefits. So when we're writing about the benefits, we wanna be writing about the benefit of the benefit. Then we're writing about the problems or outlining it, we wanna write about the problem of the problem. Now you're getting really deep into human desire and emotion when you're writing like this. And then at the end, you want to summarize it again with the benefit of the benefit. This is like a really quick overview. And this is like a, just like a cookie cutter way of approaching writing copy. So let's think about it. What is the problem of being fat, right? Being fat is a problem. Pro being fat is like a problem, but what is the problem of being fat? You don't get to enjoy certain foods maybe, or like it develops health problems. You, you know where I'm going with this? And sorry, I'm just using this as an example, but there you guys go. Hopefully that's a good nugget for you guys. Um, again, I'm not a copyright expert. I don't know everything about copywriting. I have some good books you guys can refer to for that. So watch my other videos. Now we need to add in a very, very important role, which is our FAQ. FAQ or frequently asked questions. Again, let's make it easy. Go up to here and dupe the accordion and then just change it accordingly. And now finally, we need our reveals. You're gonna add elements and then you're just going to find your reveal app. Just drag it onto here and then adjust the settings right here. So star badge, you're gonna put up all the way here. So I'm just gonna drag this all the way up to here. And if it's a reveals widget, we're just going to change it to reveals. 
and that's pretty much the basic structure of how to build a product page and this is literally how i set up my product pages it, it's nothing special really it's just i'm just outlining offers really clearly above the fold i have high quality photos and thumbnails of it so it stands out and it's easy for people to navigate uh, summary of the product clear st clearly stand out some trust factor social proof anything right here guys just i don't want you guys to know that you guys can change it however you guys want change the color uh, adjust it this is just a cookie cutter way of creating your product page like i'm not an expert at this all this stuff i'm not i'm not an expert at anything but whatever means i'm just giving you guys i'm just showing you guys how i do things so so then again, you got, it's always up to you guys to do your own research and test and experiment and break down what's ever working in your niche. Look at the competitors. This is just a cookie cutter way, okay guys? Even like I mentioned in my other videos, there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to Facebook ads and it's not the actual strategy that, that makes it work. And same with this, right? It's not the actual app or the layout that makes it work it's like these little factors that make it work so if you can include this in your original shopify theme or native shopify theme it'll, it'll convert the same if not better right it just really depends on also it also goes down to the images you choose um the how easy it is to navigate if things pop out enough for the customers um, a lot of factors that go into building a high converting product page, even your copy has to be good, okay guys? And then making sure your frequently asked questions is actually tackling pain points and not just some random things that you thought of. And same with your reviews, make sure you're featuring reveals that tackle pain points and resonate with the customers. Um, just really think about what makes you buy and then try to implement it into the product page and your copy. Again, benefit of the benefit, problem of the problem. And as a bonus, I want to give you guys also something super actionable, something you guys can implement on your existing stores like right now, which is install an app called Hotjar. Hotjar will basically allow you to monitor what customers are doing on your website. And from there, you can optimize your website. So even when you're switching over to this gem page layout, um, it doesn't mean it's going to work better. So that's why you want to monitor the results. Make sure you're getting a snapshot of the results before and after and make sure the data is significant. So test it throughout a span of one to two weeks. And then I'm not going to go over how to use Hotjar, but there are case studies on their websites that literally show you how to use it and how to analyze the data. So refer to that and I'll see you guys in the next video.